How are you doing guys and welcome to another new series and this is the XML port series. So in this series we will create XML ports and export and import data using XML ports. We will look at the properties and how we can be able to leverage XML ports to export and import data or share data between two different systems with Business Central. Uh, we'll introduce the XML file because the XML port basically encapsulates the XML file. And uh, when you're speaking of the XML file, it contains um, XML in full is extensible markup language, meaning we can extend XML ports with our own tags. It's, it's extensible. It is not like HTML that has predefined tags. We can basically create our own tags. So XML port will encapsulate that for us and be able to help us create um, the XML files by default and enable us to transfer data, especially when you're trans transferring from legacy systems that use text files. Um, and um, so we can either use text files, variable text, or XML format. But for legacy systems that export data using text files, we can be able to import the data into Business Central directly. So let's generate an XML file and be able to see the structure of an XML file. So let's ask Copilot to, to generate code, to generate an XML file to for a to-do list, to-do list. And basically, we extend the markup language. So this is an XML file generated with the version information. This is the version attribute. And then we have the encoding that is UTF-8. And then we have our to-do list and then the task. So this is the root node. And then, so this is the child of the root node. And then we do have now another child of this task node. And this title is a sibling also. So title, description, due date, and priority, they are siblings. So these are siblings. We can say this is the grandfather, this is the father, these are the children. Um, so the grandparents, the parents, and these are the children. So the children are on the same node. So that is simple, the structure of an XML port. You have the root. You must have the root node. And then you have now um, the structure. So if I click on this, I've installed an XML extension to be able to preview this so there is the to-do list that we can clearly see that this is the root because the to-do list as the root contains the uh, the other children nodes which are title description due date and priority so uh, we can look at several other children and we can add as many as possible. So when we were looking at legacy systems, it's really easy for us to be able to get to create um, an XML port uh, and be able to export to Business Central. So we can also be able to add as many uh, details as possible and be able to um, generate XML ports from Business Central. And so in the in Business Central, an XML port encapsulates this. Now it will be able to help us to to create an XML file, and as well, it also has the ability to work with text files um, and uh, XML files. So the ability for text files is also ex encapsulated within XML ports in Business Central. So it's good to understand this structure that an XML file will always contain a root. It will always contain now the nodes or the children nodes, and they can have attributes. For instance, you can say the ID of this task is one as an attribute of this particular node. 
and we have these siblings that are inside. So and, uh, understanding that we are extending, we define our own tags. So we are not restricted by what, uh, by similar to HTML, that you have to stick to a specific tag format. We define our own tags. And when you look at the preview, you can clearly see that this is what an XML port will be able to, to generate at the end of it all. So keep in mind that we are encapsulating this, and I'll see you in the next video where I will now create a basic XML port in Business Central. We will look at the different properties that should be included. There are, the, there are some properties that must be included and others uh, that are optional, and then we will now be able to create our first XML port for this series. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.